Let's go, girls. Hold hands, please. Who's gonna hold daddy's hand? Yeah. We're running late, like always. Now that Blake is eight and the Quints are four, we're taking them all to see Dr. Kimball for their checkups. And the Quints are all getting vaccines. Hello, everybody. Oh, all my girls are coloring. Hey! Five four-year-olds getting shots. I'm just anticipating screams. So, we're gonna do it last. <laughs> How old are you girls? How many is that? Four. Four, four. good! Can I ask you your names? What's your name? Ava. Ava what? Ava Lane. Nice Very good. High five. <laughs> What's your name? Olivia Busby. She says Olivia Busby. That's fine. What's your name, big girl? Uh, High five. There we go. What's your name? Hmm? Can I guess your name? I think it's Parker, right? Yeah. What's your name? <laughs> all right, Hazel, that's all right. We're not gonna mess with you, baby. All right, girls. Dr. Kimball's been the girls' pediatrician ever since they were babies. I'm gonna flip you over like a pancake. She knows that Ava can be silly, and Parker is a little bit more shy. That's so good. High five. You're doing good. She really knows how to manage each of their different personalities, and now that they're four, their personalities are bigger than ever. Do you eat three meals a day? Do you eat fruits and vegetables? We try. Yeah, I'm gonna just leave it at that. But I'm not very good at fighting with the vegetables. Yeah. You know, like I'm the mom I never wanted to be. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to food. Yes. But we have to do it. Oh, I understand. It's real hard. But still, when we get to this age, we want to make sure that everybody's eating really well, trying our best to stay away from a lot of processed food, like fast food places. So what kind of healthy foods do you eat? Riley likes to eat broccoli and green good. beans. <laughs> yeah, Riley, you gotta eat the good green stuff. It's really important for kids as they continue to grow to eat healthy because if you don't have your vitamins and your nutrients, then your body doesn't function well. If we start teaching them at an early age how to eat healthy, then usually they will continue to keep that as a part of their ongoing experience. Adam, if you don't mind, you can take one of our beautiful girls with you and you can go down the hall with Miss Rita and I'm gonna stay in here. Who's first to come with Daddy? Me! Okay. All right! Uh, Riley's... You got lots of with me. Riley's first. All right, Riley. I'll go with you. No, you stay in here. Stay here and help me, Miss Blake. We don't say the S-H-O-T word around the Quants because they hate shots. Yeah, in the past, when they got their vaccines, they lost it. Let's all hold her hands for me. But we came to this checkup with a plan. We're just gonna take them back one by one and not let them see each other get shots. This time, we're gonna sneak attack. <laughs> Lay down for me, my love. Daddy, you're gonna hold both hands over her chest just like this, okay? okay. And the reason why is because I don't want her to reach down here, grab and scratch herself, all right? Okay. Uh, Riley, yeah. Did Riley offer to go first? She did. Okay, honey. I'm gonna put some stickers on your legs. Stickers. I'm gonna clean your legs off with some cold, smelly stuff. Okay. All right, one, two, and three. Almost done, my love. One, two, and three. You're all finished. That's it. Okay. That's all done. Good job. Look, you got two band aids. It was over before Riley could even ask what was that. Do you know what just happened? You just got two shots and you didn't even think about it. You know that? It worked with Riley, but we've got four more kids that need shots. What are the odds we're gonna get through this without any tears? We're going to the Band-Aid room. This is a fun room. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's a big girl. Little, little star. <laughs> All right, you know what we do in this room? We count to see how many butterflies we see. How many butterflies are on that wall over there? I see one, two. Do you see how many do you see? What happened? Yeah, what? finish left. The girls did amazing. I mean, it was the complete opposite of what we were expecting. We're done, baby girl. We're all done. We're finished. We're all done. I mean, I was the MVP of the day. 
I mean, just let's let's all be honest here. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Five girls, not one tear. Good work. Thank Daddy. <laughs> Hey, what happened? There we go. There we go. Nice shot. All right, girls, what y'all think of your doctor visit? Did your shots hurt? No. Y'all all did so good. So proud of all of y'all. My boobs are a little bit dry. All I can think about now is what Dr. Kimball said, you know. I mean, like, become the parent that I swore I'd never be with, like, the quick fix meal, you know? Never wanted to be the chicken nugget mom, and I've turned into the chicken nugget mom. But cooking dinner for six kids takes forever. And if you're in a rush, like, you just don't have, I mean, you don't have the time. I mean, take these five kids home and you try to, <laughs> every dinner but with them. I mean, I mean it's, it's tough. We've got to try to get these kids to eat something green. The girls are at an age where they need to start developing good eating habits. And we have to figure out something, because we're not eating nuggets every day. 